Okay, here's a great video where I'm going to show you the um, difference between a quad stretch which is done standing as you can see here versus a quad stretch that is done using a Swiss ball um, and why I prefer the Swiss ball stretch over this one. Now th the difference between these two stretches is not so much to do around the knee itself um, but what you'll see is more around what happens at the hip which is very important for uh, um, trying to actually get the result that you're looking for with why you're stretching it. All right, so when, if I just pause this quickly here, the big problem with this stretch is if, if we could see his, his spine, like you'll still, still have this, and this pelvis for most people will still have an anterior tilt. So they'll actually still be like this. All right, so we're really, we need to learn how to get them to engage into a posterior tilt, so meaning they've got a sort of tuck under a bit um, to get in a straight line. Th this is very important because the quadricep muscle of rectus femoris does knee extension but also does hip flexion so it actually brings that, that leg up into this position as well. All right, so without, so because it crosses the two joints it, it can quite often become a problem at either one of the joints and then it influences how you move. All right, so, so I prefer to move to the Swiss ball stretch where we'll place, and ideally Nathan would have used the mat that's on the floor, but he did. He, he was okay with his knee. But ideally, it's good to place a, a mat, like roll it up a few times, like like what I've got there, and place that under your knee. Um, so then you, you basically you get into the position as such. And ideal flexibility would see the heel touching your butt, all right. And then if you're comfortable and able to do that, very first thing is you make sure you keep your belly button pulled in. If you can do that, then engage your glutes by squeezing your glutes together and you'll, you'll get that feeling of that pelvis tilting under, which will give you the, the amazing effect that we're looking for of that. All right, this is a, a crucial stretch for anyone with knee pain, but obviously a lot of people with hip problems from sitting too much and uh, even lack of exercise, people, it's amazing just how stiff and tight they are but it's also amazing how quickly they respond to it once they start using it. So um, this is by far the best stretch you can do. You don't necessarily need a Swiss ball. You could do it against the couch. Again, just make sure you have something under your knee just to absorb that, that pressure. If, you, if you're like Nathan, you might be all right, but uh, most people uh, it, it can put a bit of pressure through the front of the knee. All right, but uh, great stretch to use, and I encourage you to get into it. All right, I'll see you on our next video.